Whatever happened last week happened last week. You had a second chance of making your life happen today. Who cares of what they think? You make a mistake, you get up. Today's the day you lay the groundwork down. Today's the day you let motherfuckers know you lay the throw down. Roll up your sleeves, you don't give a f- No more. No more. No more. No more excuses. No more, I'll start tomorrow. No more, just this once. No more accepting the shortfalls of my own will. No more taking the easy road. They print money, they don't print time. They don't print opportunities. You can lose money and get it back. You can't get time back. You can't get experiences back. Worship getting your time back with your family. Average people focus on money. The great focus on time, because I can't get my time back. To win. All you have to do is overcome that moment. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy is so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multimillionaire, that's not luck. That's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. One thing about being in dark places, if you have the courage to stay in them long enough, your eyes will start to adjust to the darkness. Your body and mind will always adjust to more suffering, to more pain. If you want to push harder, know this, your mind quits way before your body does. Everybody in your life will have a turn back moment. No matter who you are, you're going to have such a period in your life where it seems like it's not working. You're going to have doubts, you're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. And everybody has what's called a turn back moment. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is, the average person turns back. You, you don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm gonna be, build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm gonna lay this brick yeah. as perfectly as a brick can be laid. There will not be one brick on the face of the earth that's going to be laid better than this brick that I'm going to lay. Yeah. And you do that every single day. Oh. Soon you have a wall. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. No more bowing down to whatever unhealthy or unproductive thoughts float through my mind. No more, no more waiting for the perfect moment and no more indecision and no more lies. No more weakness. No, no more. Now is the time for strength. And through strength and through will and through unwavering discipline, I will become what I want to be. I will become who I want to be. And then, and only then will I rest and say no more. You don't make excuses for the failure, you grieve it. You feel the pain. You don't brush it off, you don't downplay it. You feel the pain and you don't rush to feel better. 
To get past it, you gotta go through it. You can't go around your failure. You can't go over your failure. You can't go under your failure. You can't ignore your failure. You need to grieve the failure. I want you to take the craziest dream you ever had. That dream that you were too embarrassed to tell anyone about. And I want you to go after it. I want you to make it a reality. I don't want you to dream, I want you to do. Oh, I was gonna make a decision to step out of the darkness. You see, when you're in that darkness, you wanna sit there and wait for the light to come. When you're in that darkness, it feels uncomfortable, but you can't wait and sit in that darkness. The only way out is to step forward, to face your fears, to become your own light. But momentum requires you always do the next thing to keep the momentum going. And the reason you get yourself in a passionate place is so that you change your life and the only thing that changes your life is making a decision. So while you're in this passionate state, that's where you make decisions. And my personal question to you is, why not you? You've got the brains, you can make decisions, you can study the plan, you can change your life, you can grow immensely in the next few years, you can make your dreams come true. People who win, figure out reasons why they're going to make it. They understand that that's all fucking noise. The first way to get focus is to find purpose. The way to find purpose is you must identify what it is that you have to be purposeful in.